All right, so here we're going to show off the higher resolution capabilities. So as you can see here, I've got this in a much higher resolution mode than we had it whenever we were doing the quickness preview. So lower resolution, higher frame rate, higher resolution, slower frame rate. So let's go with almost maximum resolution and we will want a very accurate scan. So let's see how this goes. Again, this is just using Scandi Core and the PicoFlex, so we're relying only on our depth-based tracking. So it's not using any of the Tango tracking. So as I sit here and let this capture more and more of the scene, you can see we're starting to get pretty good detail on the face of little coal and we can see the finger starting to come out some the wrinkles in his shirt so all in all looking like a pretty good high resolution scan let's see how we did Meshing also takes a fair bit longer whenever we're doing a high resolution scan versus a low resolution, so it's just something to bear in mind. But there we go. That was captured on a Galaxy S7 with a PicoFlex time of flight sensor and Scandi Core software to remove a bunch of the noise, and you can see. The details in the face, the ear, the uh, little fingers that are protruding out, and you know, that's a very, very small subject. And there's our wireframe. So you can see that, you know, this isn't anything with texture mapping to make it look pretty. This is the actual file, and we can do something useful with it.